You have anger issues. You're angry. You're angry inside, inside, inside. You're angry. Inside is like a volcano. It's about to erupt. People get on your nerves. They get on your nerves. Things get on your nerves. And it's like this this, this thing that's in you is growing, it's growing, it's growing. And it's like you want to blow your top. It's like you want to say something, like you want to do something. Um, you're very temperamental. And, um, and oftentimes, um, in your anger, you become so angry sometimes that your body hurts. Listen to me, you become, you, you're so angry, your head hurts. It feels like your head, it feels like you're swimming in water, swimming in pain. But I want to, um, to let you know that what's building in the, the feelings and the emotions and the temperament, it's God's power uh, in you growing. But it feels like anger. It feels like anger. And see, what God wants you to do, he wants you to slow down. Now you know what God is saying. I know you're in, you're in the trouble. You're, you're in tribulations. You're in, you're in pain. And you're trusting God. You believe in God. And, and it's hard to just stand still because when stuff is going around and you're seeing stuff and you need bills need to be due and things need to be paid and things need to be taken care of, it's kind of hard to stay still. You've prayed God. It's hard. It's hard to stay still. And this is meant of you because of the pressure and because of the pain and because of the pain that's mounting. And, and, and it's like, there's a time clock, there's a time a table or a time schedule. There's certain things uh, you believe in God for. And even a time schedule done pass. You pass the time schedule. And because you pass the time schedule, you said in your heart, you said in your mind, God, where are you? God, did you forget me, God? And so because even even everything that happens to you, uh, negative, it builds that anger. It builds that anger. It builds that anger. It builds that anger. It makes you more frustrated. It makes you frustrated at the world. It makes you frustrated at everybody. It makes you frustrated even at yourself sometimes. You can't hold, you can't even hold yourself together sometimes. When you're by yourself, you cry out so much. And you fuss so much to yourself. You cry out to God so much. And, and see, but what God wants you to do, he wants you to slow down. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. I know it's building. Slow down. I know it's bad. Slow down. I know you want to do something to something, so on, some situation, because the situation that you believe in God for, it hadn't happened yet, and it makes your anger, it infuriates you, infuriates you, angry. You're angry, and the sad thing about it, the sad thing about it, when people around sometimes, they get it. So when people around sometimes, they, they get your despair, or they get your frustration, the people that love you. See, but God said, hang in there. Hang in, I know it's building. See, but what God is doing with that, with that, with that anger, that anger is energy. This is what God is doing. He's shaping it. He's cultivating you. He's cultivating you. That's why it's uncomfortable. He's making you. That's why it's uncomfortable. He's shaping you. That's why it's uncomfortable. So what you need to do, what you need to do is take a deep breath and don't rush. Just say, God, lead me. God, help me with this anger. Help me to shape this anger. Help me to, help me, help me to uh, harness this anger give me the understanding because in what you feel also there's revelation and knowledge in your anger there is revelations and there is knowledge but this is why the bible said be angry don't sin not you could be angry but the anger is information in that anger look inside of it, that anger look side look inside of that anger look inside of that information and, and find out what it is what god what you're trying to get me to see what god you're trying to get me to hear what it god that you're trying to get me to speak and see, ultimately, all it's doing is causing your mouth to come out, come open. That's what it's doing. It's like uh, your pain and all that. It's like a fuel to a uh, fuel to a rocket or a rocket ship or a spaceship. Something is about to launch, and the clock is ticking. The, the clock is ticking. With every blow, fuel is being added. And that fuel is faith. With every uh, rejection, fuel is being added. Fuel is faith. With every um, uh, being uh, denied, every time you hurt, every time you suffer, it's filling up, it's filling up, it's filling up. And, and you're full. You're full. You're full. You want to blow your top. You want to explode. See, but God's going to let you explode. But He's going to let you explode with praise. With this anger, you want to explode. You want to get it out. You want to yell. There's a word, Shabak. Shabak means if you yell, if you praise God at the intensity of the pain and of all the hell that you've been through, if you Shabbat and let God know, praise Him, I promise you in this hour, if you hear this word, the sound of this word, God's going to turn things around.
God's gonna cause deliverance. God's gonna cause chains to break. I see chains breaking. I see I see weights. I see weights lifting. I see it. I see it. And I want to say this right. I want to say this right. And I, I know I know I know God is blessing me. I know what God is doing, and I know God is blessing so many people even through um, what God is using me through through my son. And, but it's about Him, and my purpose and my angle is God. God is healing my son. God is doing this. God is blessing me. God is all this because the Bible said the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof and the world and they that dwell therein. And so I owe it all to God. And every demon and everyone that's waiting on something to happen bad. You're waiting on something. You're trying to uh, uh, throw goofy dust or whatever you're trying to do. Let me tell you something. The Lord God rebuke you and you're a liar. 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 And I tell you, God has put it in my mouth. He's put a, a word in my mouth. And he's put a word and authority in my mouth. He's put an anointing in my mouth. He's put a fire in my mouth. And see what see, see what you're doing, Mr. Devil. You're waking, you're waking the fire up. You're waking it up. It's in me. And, and, and I'm releasing it in the name of Jesus. And the first thing I say, Lord God, rebuke you. Get behind me. Get behind God's people. I curse your plan. I rebuke, I rebuke your plan. I loose hooks in your jaws. I beat back the forces of hell. In the mighty name of Jesus, your curse is broken. Your curse is destroyed. It is not by my might. It is not by my power, but it's by the power of God. In the name of Jesus, it's broken. Your curse is broken. Your word is broken. Your voice is broken. Hear me.